Hey, YouTube, it is your girl here, Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. Hi, hi, hi. It's been a minute for my knockup people. Um, I just, you know, it's been a blessing. I just started doing these videos trying to spread the wealth, spread the knowledge, and it's really taken off. And I hope these videos can inspire somebody to really try and apply for a home. This one is going to be very brief. I'm just doing a touch base. Um, I'll have a more thorough video coming, but um, I just want to touch bases with the NACA viewers and to let them know to keep going. I'm just going to do a quick um, reading of the steps. If you are interested in the NACA program, you need to go to www.naca.com. It's .com and not .org. Let me just try it just to be safe because I hate to give out that information. Bear with me, you all. And before I ca dot yeah dot com that was right and before i go any further be so kind as to hit that like button and hit subscribe and and since i did that maybe i can just show you um oh i didn't share oh gosh i did not share my i gotta share first hold on you all share screen see here i go i'm getting um tech savvy this is what you'll be looking at, the NACA website. So this, the, the reason for NACA, it was to stop this predatory lending. Back in the 80s, 90s, mostly minorities, they were getting homes, but the interest rate, the finance rate, interest rate was so high that they would ultimately lose their home. So this program was put into place to just put a stop to that. So what's going to happen is once you get approved, your mortgage comes from Bank of America for a very affordable interest rate. And that's what you want. So let me just give you the steps right quick. Um, I got to share my screen again. I'm always jumping around and not. Hang on, you all bear with me. Bear with me. Oh, Lord. Let me stop sharing and then do it again. All right, you all. Oh, gosh. I had to do presentations at my last job prior to when I have it. That was part of our trial as new counselors. We had to show that we could do presentations. That was always fun. Step one, you want to attend the workshop. Go to www.naca.com, as I just told you. Sign up for one of the workshops. The workshop is four hours long. It's well worth it. It's not going to be boring at all. When I did it in February, I do believe, it was 300 and something of us attending this workshop. It was very informative. Stay until the end. Don't leave because at the end is when you get your web file. You'll need that web file to get started. Your web file is going to contain everything. Employment your rental information, um, if you have a husband or wife or whoever is going to be on the loan with you, their information. You have to keep uploading your check stubs, your bank statements for your checking, your saving. Every credit card bill, you're going to put three months, um, why am I saying three months? Yeah, 90 days, that is right, 90 days of your credit card statements. So if you do do the workshop in June, you're going to put June, July, August up there. Or maybe in that case, June. So you'll put April, May, June statement um, for every credit card. Your car note information, um, student loan, like mine. I have two student loans and they are on income driven payments. Please get that statement that shows your income driven amounts. So my amounts are very low. They want to see that like this is going to last until 2023. Um, let me see what else. They're going to want to know the lenders, no, no, the renters information. Um, trying to see what I'm leaving off. Your voters res registration card. 
I am divorced over 20 some years. I still have to prove, show the divorce papers. Um, <laughs> I'm sure I put my social security number up. Checking account information, credit scores. You have to pay like 16 bucks for your credit score. And you also have to do a participation for five years. Doesn't sound like a whole lot. It's worth it for this long, but that's the form you need to fill out. I'm going from the cuff. So if I'm leaving off some, please forgive me. I'm just trying to tell you everything you have to put in your web file. Let's say you go to this um, workshop in June. Then you'll probably meet with your counselor by July or August. I, I don't know because June is almost over. So if you want to attend a workshop, get online right now and go to www.naka.com and sign up for the workshop. Let's pretend it's June. You'll probably meet with your counselor in July. That first session is going to be long. It was, mine was like four, maybe three hours, maybe four. It was definitely three. And a good counselor, they're going to put all the meat and potatoes in there. So when you meet again the next month, you'll just be doing fine tuning. So I met with my counselor in May. We meet again in July. So it'll just be going through. It was much shorter. You'll just be going through, making sure you provided all the documents, put everything they need. So how I'm kind of doing mine, I didn't do nothing for me. Um, no, I think I saw her in April. So I see her in July. So I didn't do much for me. So June, at the end of this month, which is like now, I have to go in and put all my documents in there. I have to do my budget sheets and something else I know I need to do. Um, like if you have money coming out your account, like Zelle and people have to do a letter for that. So I'm going to go through with a fine tooth comb in June, at the end of June, make sure I have everything in there. And then I'll do it again in July to go back over it because I'm going to meet with her. And, and the thing is, you don't want to look like you're not serious because those counselors go hard for us. You want to come prepared. So this is why people are saying this program doesn't work. Some of the reasons. They're not doing the work. I get it because there was a couple of times I got a little frustrated. I was like, man, is this worth it? But hang in there and keep filling out those papers. Do what you need to do. And I think it's going to pay off. And, and you know, I, hate, I don't like to speak like that. Worst case, if you don't, I saw Bank of America. They have a nice program anyway. But why not go through these people where you can get the lowest rate and you can get something nicer? So patience gets the race. Um, and I'm learning that in my personal life. Sometimes people, they don't want to wait. They want everything now and it's a microwave society and they think like stuff should just flip over but that's not how anything goes hard work like you can talk to anybody athletes singers songwriters actors actresses morgan freeman i mean he was active for a long time before he really blew up he's older now he's like 80s in his 80s but it was a long journey sometimes things don't happen right away hang in there though hang in there that's probably part of the lesson with the NACA program. If you're patient or if you're tenacious, you probably get the house. Anywho, I don't went on to preaching. Nobody want to look at my videos to preach. Okay, so sorry, you all. I think I'm about to put on my glasses. Let's see. Uh, number one, after you attend that workshop, that's step one. Step two, this is when you're going to get your web file prepared. Um, little zoom camera was in my way oh no okay so step two prepare your web file what is that again that's that file it has everything i just named it's really a nice uh, program they upgraded it since i joined which is was bad for me because i had uploaded everything in the old file some stuff did transfer over but i had to up, re-upload a few things it wasn't too too bad but anyhow this is where you and your counselor are gonna work from that web file. After that, step three, you fulfill your qualification requirements for the NACA mortgage. So everybody's gonna have their own different amounts. That's for, and I didn't pull out my folder, for the insurance, your taxes, your um, earnest money. You do need money down. It's not money down for your house. It's all of those things that you have to have in place. So uh, make sure you have some money. And if you have blessed to have some uncles and aunties, moms, dads, grandparents that will gift you this money, that works too. They just have to write a letter of explanation. So 
maybe you had it. I'm, I'm um, not that fortunate. My parents, they have um, gone on and I don't have grandparents and that's about it for me. You know, nobody give me nothing. So um, save you up some money for the taxes, the insurance, um, and earnest money. It's a couple more things. Inspection. You're going to need a home inspection. So save up some money, please. After you do all of that. So this is where I'm at. I'm at step two. I'm still in that well file. Get into step three. Prayerfully, hopefully, August, September. That's my goal. So then once I have all my money that I have to have, she's going to put in my application. I do want to do a caveat. In this program, your credit score does not really hold much merit. I have decent credit. I had to clean up a couple of things after I went back to school, but I have my credit is, is what they call fair to do that. But it doesn't matter. So if yours is a little low, keep on pushing with this program. That's the beauty of this program. Um, they go by employment. They go by, I hope I don't have a delay because this looks weird. They go by employment. They go by credit, but not as heavy, not that heavy. And they go by, what else could it be? You all employment credit, probably your rental. So rental payments. Yeah, it is your rental payments for sure. So don't, don't be dis, dismayed, dismayed if you have not that great credit this program will work with you, isn't it? I think that's great news. After that, you have to attend a workshop. It's a NACA purchase. Well, I'm gonna have to attend that workshop and find you a home. So I'm gonna be running to that workshop because I wanna find me a home. And I'm gonna read a little blurb about the market too. So next you're gonna get to step five, complete your credit access and submit that bank application. This is where we all wanna be. Yeah, baby and obtain lender approval. Well, now we want to be in step six. It flows on your home. However, it doesn't have to be a house. It could be income property. Um, yeah, so the sky's the limit. This is a good thing. Let me stop sharing and jump to that article because I wanted to let you all know what's happening with the market, the housing market. Okay, and let me go back. You need a degree to um, work this Zoom. It's really not bad. It's just user error. Okay. Alrighty, now you all. So people have been ranting and raving about this market in the worst type of way. Allegedly, as of June 20, five signs the housing market is starting to slow down. And I'm seeing it in my area. I live in Illinois, outside of Chicago. There is a shift happening in the housing market. After more than a year of soaring demand, exploding home prices, and increasing real estate sales, the market finally seems to be cooling off. That's going to be good for us. I swear it's going to be a delay on here. If it is, I apologize. Uh, I'm just going to skip all of that. Okay, the mortgage rates have increased more than 2.5% points this year. That's not good. But as a result, year-over-year year home sales have been dropping. So that means more inventory for us. Here I go. I knew that. Inventory of homes for sales is growing. It gives us more to choose from. The demand for house outstripping supply, the inventory of home for sales have been consistently declining year over year during the pandemic housing boom. So I could just skip some of that. Woo, woo, woo. Seeing the number of homes increase is great news for buyers. That's us. Hey, hey. Um, it shifts the trend and they are seeing more homes. It should help balance the market, slowing down home price growth and increasing the time on the market. This is good, you guys. But home prices are showing a lot of sticking power. Price growth is going to slow, but I expect prices to stay high. If home sellers can't get the price they want, they're likely not to put it on the market. Well, that's okay. They hit. Um, if you have been looking at homes, you have been noticing something you haven't seen in a long time, price cuts. Now, I've been watching outside of Chicago, so I've been looking in the suburbs. I, I'm not looking, looking yet, but I'm, I'm you know, checking out things, seeing what I like. So once my application is approved, I know 
this is the type of home I want. Um, I'm seeing like the listings coming back saying relisted lower, 10K lower, they lower in those prices. That's why I want, to, want you all to stay optimistic. Um, for a while, homes were selling so quickly, often with bidding wars, I think that might be over, that sellers will commonly get more than they ask. But as affordability changes, squeeze buyers and there is less competition to buy. Some sellers are deciding they lowering their price. I'm telling you, I've been seeing 10K lower. So this is good for us. I'm not gonna read, not saying much. Real estate companies are laying people off. That's not good. With less activity in the housing market, real estate companies are announcing layoffs. I don't like to hear that. Redfin said it cut 8% of their employees and Compass said it will reduce the workforce by 10%. Not good. That's not, I don't like reading stuff like that. I'm sorry. My God. Mortgage applications are down. As mortgage rates have spiked, would be home buyers are applying for fewer loans. So is that good for us? Ooh. Yeah, that's, I mean, yeah, I guess that's good for us though. That really has no bearing on us. Yeah, yeah well, our loan will get approved quicker because mortgage applications are down. So that is good for us. Fewer people are shopping for homes. Good for us, more homes for us. So I'm just reading this article just to let you know that um, don't give up. Like, you know, I, I've been reading and watching and I know people are like, I can't find a home where I live and they're really disturbed. But according to that article, you know, um, there's hope. I think I could stop sharing again. Oh Lord. I got a, me and these glasses. I can't even get back to where I need to be. I just should keep the glasses on, shouldn't I, y'all? They get caught in the braids. It'd just be a whole mess. But I hope something that I'm saying is helping. It won't let me get back. Low it. Oh, here we go. This is crazy. Whew. I don't know how I did that with my old job. I know I made a mess of things. <laughs> but I hope something I said helped. No matter where you are, Texas, Georgia, Illinois, California, hold on to what I just read about the housing market. My, my dear friend in California told me, she said, it's looking better. And that article is confirming it. And like I told you, I've been seeing people, they've been slashing those prices lower. So have hope, hang on. I know it's been rocky and I've been looking at some of the people on YouTube saying they can't find a house. You know what? It's June, maybe July, August, September, October. It might be, it might be your time. So don't give up just yet. I'm Tammy Sharice Walker. Thank you all so much for bearing with me as I've been trying to flip around with this um, Zoom here. <laughs> and thank you for your patience and thank you for your comments. I've been reading, I read all my comments. I comment back and you all have been so gracious and thanking me for the information and I'm just trying to share. I want us all to get our home or get our income property together. Okay, I'm Tammy Therese Walker signing off. This is my channel, Dreams Are Reality. Share it with somebody you know that may be uh, looking for a home. And leave me some comments so I can respond back. Okay, have a beautiful night. Bye-bye now. Take care.